Hey guys, it's RJ the Fed. Uh, we're here with another store haul from our bourbon hunting. Uh, today's a pretty long one and we got a lot of bottles, so we're gonna just get into it. So, our first bottle we got is a Larceny Barrel Proof. This was a C923, 126.4 proof, 63.2% alcohol. We got a receipt here. We paid uh, $54.99 for it. Uh, also on this receipt, same one. We got another bottle. Oh. This was recommended by uh, Bourbon Syndicate. Uh, so Rusty, he told me I should pick up this. This is a uh, Rich and Rare Reserve, it's a Canadian whiskey. Uh, we've already opened it up and tried it. Uh, I didn't really like it, but we're gonna revisit it once we get a little bit more time with it, and we'll do a quick review on this bottle. Uh, so far, not a big fan, but maybe that'll change. Uh, the reason why we got the Larceny Barrel Proof is, is we have a buddy that loves Larceny, but he only gets the small batch because that's all he can really find. And I told him they make a barrel proof, and he's a real big fan of Stag for the higher proof. So I'm like, let's get your, your Larceny, same barrel proof, uh, for a little bit less of the cost. And it's a, eh, I would say probably just as hard to find a Stag, at least in my area. Maybe you guys can find it more often, but these are, these are as sought after. So you don't have like a line of people waiting for them. Um, so we're going to try that together, but... We went ahead and got a second one because it's limited to one per customer. We went back on day two to get another. So we got two Larceny Barrel Proofs. One's going to be a gift for him for Christmas, so he'll be able to take one of these home. That it'll be sealed. Uh, it's also C923, 126.4 proof for 63.2% alcohol by volume. So we'll set these off to the side. Oh, next one on our list. Uh, so we have a bottle sitting out over here. We got a Knob Creek 12, but we're almost done with it. So we had to go get another one because we do like this one. And we paid a little bit more for this one because we went to a smaller mom and pop store. Uh, but I wanted to support a little local business. So uh, for $68.99, we were able to pick this up. Uh, they range for about $62 here. So only a couple dollar markup. And uh, it's a good one to have on the shelf in a replacement. Uh, this is an allocated bottle in Texas, so sometimes it's pretty hard to find, and then other times it just sits on the shelf. It kind of depends on when you're looking for it. So, Next up on the list. We got our Rebel 100. Uh, I don't have the receipt, so I must have told her no for the receipt. I bought it at the same store as this one, but I bought it on a different day. Um, this is normally like, I think a 12 or 13 bottle, a uh, $13 bottle. I think we paid $16.99 for it. Like I said, small mom and pop store. They can't buy in bulk like these big, uh, stores can like total line and specs in my area. So sometimes the cost is going to be a little bit more, but I tried this at my uncle's bar. Uh, they had a vendor there. So this is just a cheap one that you can use to mix with, but I tried it neat and, uh, for a hundred proof. Off of Lux Row Distillers, this is a Bardstown Distillery bottle. This is a pretty pretty good one and pretty affordable price, so I was pretty happy with that one. So, set that one to the side. Um, what else do we got here? We got an Early Times Bottled in Bond, because I don't have it in here, but we've almost finished ours off, so we needed another one. Uh, we got this one at Specs, and we paid uh, $21.29 for it. So uh, normally we can get these for $19.99 at our Total Wine and build points for that Grand Reserve program so we can try to win those highly allocated bottles, but they were completely sold out of this one. So Specs had them, so we paid a couple dollars more, and we were able to get one. Uh, also an allocated bottle, so sometimes it can be hard to find early times bottled in bonds. Uh, let's see. Oh, you guys know that we love our E.H. Taylor. No, it's not another one off the top shelf. I can grab those off the top if you don't believe me. But we were able to get that. Uh, I guess I didn't get the receipt on this one, too, unless she's stuck in this bag. Nope, there is a receipt in here, so I got the receipt to prove it. Don't know if you guys can see that, but we got November 6th, so we did buy those today. 
Um, we paid $135.29 total. Uh, this was $49.99, $50, so just above MSRP on the E.H. Taylor small batch. Love it. Uh, we're taking a gamble with this one. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have. We'll, we'll have to do a review to find out, I guess. Uh, this one was $74.99. This is a uh, Charles Goodnight. It's a Texas straight bourbon. Uh, the reason why it was interesting to me is one, uh, the unique bottle shape and the longhorn with the star above it uh, skull insignia. This is a metal insignia, so that's kind of cool. It's also 115 proof, so pretty pretty up there in proof on par with like the old Forster 1920. So higher proof definitely intrigues me. Uh, it is a Texas whiskey, and I have had some pretty negative opinions on Texas whiskey so far, but we've only tried a few, so we're trying to expand that. But another interesting thing that is the reason why I bought this is that this was aged for six years. So Texas whiskey, from what I have seen, is typically two, three, or four-year age statements. Uh, most of them are going to be around that two to three years because the summers here are so hot, I have a feeling that most of the juice evaporates out of that barrel and it leaves them with almost no yield to bottle. So um, I figured if this is a six-year bourbon that was aged in Texas, uh, this might be pretty good, but we'll see. Uh, it's bottled by Goodnight Distillery. Um, it's got California on here, so I'm not really sure how that works since it's a Texas whiskey, but... Um, it's got a little little text on the back of it. We're not going to sit here and read it, but the part that we will read is is that one, it's 115 proof, and that it's supposed to deliver toasted caramel, uh, nutty flavors, and a peppery bite that lingers long past the sunset. So uh, hopefully we can we can get some good notes, tasting notes on this one, and hopefully that uh, peppery bite isn't too harsh because uh, not that I can't take it, but it's not preferred when I drink. I like the, the smoother, sweeter stuff, so we'll see if this one's any good. So that was kind of a unique bottle that we picked up. And then E.H. Taylor, I mean, I, I give these away as gifts, so these are perfect. Maybe we'll do a giveaway with this E.H. Uh, e. Taylor small batch for our 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll put a poll up and let you guys decide. But for that 250 subscriber giveaway, we're going to be giving away a bottle. And we're going to be giving away to flight a sample. So I'm thinking probably four sample bottles. Uh, there'll be two ounce pours. Uh, pretty much any bottle in my collection will be fair game for that. But we'll talk more about that in a little bit. A um, <clears throat> little un-whiskey related, but still alcohol related. Let's move some of these off the table so you guys can see them. Oh. Got a whole bunch of bottles. We bought two wine bottles today. Petite Chiblis, and then however you say this one. Uh, my mom, I believe, was asking for a white burgundy wine, and these are the two that they recommended at Total Wine. Normally, I kind of go against their recommendations, but um, we don't really know anything about wine. We use the Vino app to try to help us find them, but we picked these two bottles up. Um, the Chiblis one was $26.99, and then this other one is a little bit more expensive. It was $47.99, so uh, a little little pricey on that one. But she said she doesn't mind spending uh, around the $30 to $40 range. She doesn't really want to go above $50 because uh, the one that she does like, she says it's like a $150 bottle. So obviously she's not wanting to drink a $150 bottle every couple days. So we're trying to find some cheaper alternatives for her to try. Plus, Total Wine gives 10x points, and because the Rangers won the World Series, all the other stuff that we purchased today was at 9x points. So um, we were able to get several points today. In fact, it says that we earned uh, 26,000 points. Yeah, we just earned 26,000 points on this purchase, I guess. So not sure how that works. It says I'm getting a $25 reward discount that will be emailed to me tomorrow. I don't think I've ever received um, that many rewards in a single purchase. So uh, I'm not sure if they multiply these. I'll have to look. Normally it has my total points on here to see if they added all of mine up. But uh, before I was around like 55,000 points. So if we just got 26,000 points, uh, that'd be crazy on a, on a single purchase because... 
we just put ourselves in for the lottery for BTAC and Pappy Van Winkle, um, the BTAC collection and Pappy Van Winkle. So if we got 25,000 or 26,000 more points, that's 26,000 more entries in that drawing. So maybe we might have a chance of actually getting a highly sought after bottle. And then I got another bottle over here. Uh, we were saving this for the bottle kill, but as you can tell, we almost killed the bottle in accident. So the old Forester King Ranch, and we had to go get another one. Uh, these are typically $90, but I think because they have like 15 to 16 cases of these sitting on the floor, like another two or three cases on the shelf, uh, they came down on price just a little bit, $5. So this was $84.99, so still pretty pricey bottle. But hey, for uh, $84.99, I, I thought the King Ranch was awesome. I was drinking this almost every day. It was, it was pretty bad, honestly, because I was just drinking glass after glass after glass of it. Uh, it's 105 proof. Uh, you can drink it neat, but I actually like it over ice as well, so you can drink it either way. Uh, got some samples out there to some of you guys, uh, a bottle going to somebody as well. Hopefully, they'll be able to taste it and tell me what they think about it. I even sent some samples out to my liquor store, my local one. Um, she said that she, she liked it, but she didn't think it was $90 good, and I think I might have to agree with her on that. I mean, 1910, 1920, you can buy for around 60 bucks. And for this being $30 more, it's kind of hard to justify buying this over those. But I mean, exclusive Texas limited release. So really can't, can't get it anywhere else unless uh, you know somebody in Texas or you travel out here. But if you do come to Texas, uh, I'm sure they'll be sitting on the shelves for the next month or two, uh, very, very minimal um, amount will be setting out because they take up so much space. I think most of them they keep in the case, but this would be a bottle I would think would be worth picking up if you haven't had one before. Uh, otherwise, we can do some giveaways with some samples and let you guys try them. But that's going to be my massive store haul today. I've got a bunch of bottles on the floor, so uh, this was probably the most expensive one out of those. And then, uh, like I said, we got a couple Larsenies, got that Knob Creek, and we got that E.H. Taylor Small Batch as some of our bourbons. We'll put it somewhere. There we go. Get that out. Got our early times bottled in bonds. And last of our, oh, no, we got one more. We got a Rebel 100, and then we got that uh, Charles Goodnight. So we got a ton of bottles since last time we did one of these little store hauls. So let's see if we can get these set up. Um, yeah, so... At 250 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, I think we probably will be giving away an E.H. Taylor small batch, if that sounds good to you guys. Otherwise, maybe we'll give away something else, and then we'll do a flight. So that flight will be pretty much any bottle that I already have opened. Uh, this will probably be opened by then as well, so if you guys want to try some Texas whiskey, that might be a little bit harder to find uh, in your area, or maybe you've never even heard of it. I mean, I've never heard of it. Um, they said that they had a bunch of bottles at one of their other stores, so they brought some over to this store, and I was able to pick one up. I think they only had two on the shelf, though. So uh, This is my bourbon store haul. Got some wine. Got some other stuff, too, on there. Got some, some points, but um, this this was a fun trip. We, we went to five different stores to acquire all of these. And man, it was it was kind of a long day. We didn't get any footage inside the store. We weren't really there to, to do a, a hunt video, so to speak. It was more so we want to just get in there, look for some stuff, and see what we can find. I was super happy to find these Larceny Barrel Proofs. Still looking for that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923, but uh, we don't want to pay secondary on that, so we'll, we'll keep hunting. I know it just released, so maybe it'll pop up in a store or two. Um, but every single bottle on this table, with the exception of this Rebel 100, and I believe this one, are, these are all allocated bottles, so I would say we did pretty good today. Uh, tune in next time for our another... I guess we'll do a review on these. We're going to do a review on the Rebel 100. Uh, we'll do a review on this guy. Uh, we'll eventually do a Rebel, or sorry, a Larceny Barrel Proof review too. I think I might wait for my buddy. He'll be getting back in town on the 19th. Um, but like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. You guys want to see more of this, uh, drop that in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you are looking for anything particular, maybe I can find it in my area and we can do a, a at least a video on the bourbon hunt of that section and that price. I try not to, to film in too many stores. A lot of them, they don't really care for, for me filming in their store, but some of them have given me explicit permission to do whatever I need and to just talk to them if I need them to turn off the music so we don't have to worry about copyrights. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.